Now a uh, release in, it's a Blu-ray that uh, has uh, documentaries on it, uh, Raising Hell, the filming of The Exorcist, which will give you all the uh, behind-the-scenes uh, stuff that we talked about, the uh, locations, The Exorcist locations. Uh, what do you think of the of the movies that uh, have been made uh, trying to, to, you know, exorcism movies after that? Any, any that you like that you think kind of measured up to the original well, one? Well, actually, we'll, we'll get to, I haven't, um, I, I, you know, I run a, a big, huge animal welfare foundation right now, and we've been saving and rescuing animals for the last, you know, what, I don't know, 14 years, but the last couple of years, been, it's a major crisis, so I'm really overwhelmed. I am familiar with a couple of the projects. Everything, you know, it's, I'm sure they don't just say, oh, we're going to go out and try. You can't recreate The Exorcist. You can't because it's a theological thriller. Yeah. And it's, it's Billy, uh, Bill Blatty who wrote the book. You know, he was basically, he was a comedy writer, and, but he knew about these, these, these issues. He'd studied to be a Jesuit priest. And so he, that's, he's the one that put this together. He's the genius. Without the novel, The Exorcist, you wouldn't have the film. And without the film... You know, you wouldn't be raising all the questions, and 37 years later, this is a real treat. Yeah, well, if you are somebody who, who likes to be scared, this is the movie to get. And now with the, the Blu-ray technology, The Exorcist uh, Director's Cut, it's Blu-ray, it's a book, it's got the uh, documentaries, and pretty much every angle of everything you ever wanted to see about The Exorcist is available, and it is uh, out there today. And uh, hopefully people will, uh, will check it out, and there will be a whole new generation of kids pooping their pants this Halloween. Well, if, uh, if I, I have no way to segue into, but um, for those that want to know what I was speaking of earlier with the, with the animals, I've been, of course, down through Florida my entire life. I'm an East Coast girl, and, and, um, but I've got a foundation, the Linda Blair World Heart Foundation right. at lindablairworldheart.org, and I've been uh, doing animal rescue for 14 years, animal welfare for almost 30 now, and so we have... Uh, uh, a property out here. People can come and volunteer and donate and go online, lindablairworldheart.org, where I rescue animals abandoned on the shelters and streets. And I, I think and, that that's and, uh, uh, I think that's great. I've taken in a couple of uh, stray dogs over the years that I've had. They may think they make fantastic pets. What do you? What is your uh, stance on the pit bull? I'm I'm the one that's on pit boss with with uh, with uh, Shorty Rossi. And if you go on Animal Planet and Pit Boss, you'll see. Um, there's three episodes. One, it says Linda Blair, World Heart, and the other was uh, Family Pit Bull Puppies, and, and then the other's a military dog that I took uh, so they wouldn't euthanize her, and we uh, I did uh, rehome her. She's a lovely dog. I'm the one that talks out, probably because the exorcist, the prejudice, and the misunderstanding. Why well, you know what, that, that, that's what I, and I know those guys. I know Sebastian Sebi used to be one of my uh, interns back in the day. Uh, from that show, but I, I, you know, it seems like every day, especially down here in Florida, for some reason, uh, we are getting a different story about a pit bull eating some kid's face, and uh, I have, I have taken a pretty strong stance uh, against them because, and I, and I, all it the isn't pit them. I'm going to straighten you out right now. It's uh, them. It's always the people. But it's, it's not. It, well, let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Because no one. And look at the people. I know. Using children. I know, but uh, what I'm saying is always the people. It is not the dog. What are they doing down there in Fort Myers? It's not. It's not always the dog. There's, how many stories do you read? And all you have to do is Google pit bull. You don't even have to put pit bull attack. Just to Google pit bull. How many stories do you read that they say? Oh, it was a beautiful dog. We've had it since it was a puppy. We had it for five years. The sign. How it many turned and ate my kid's face. In the eye. How many times did they set the dog on fire? How many times did they not notice? Not enough I times. People, I don't let them have dogs because they're not up to it. They're not paying attention. They're uh, doing things. And how come that? How come it doesn't happen with the collies and the and the Rottweilers and the Doberman? And, you don't read. There isn't any dog the, in history. The Cocker Spaniel was the, was the most amount of, of biting in history. It's called Rage. It was the Rage. Right, Rage. right. Everybody tells me, but the problem is when a Cocker Spaniel latches onto your kid, you can pry it off. A, a pit bull, you got eight cops have to shoot it before you can get the thing off. You were speaking out of line to a person that should be respected for the work that I do. I've been doing this a very long time. Listen, I am. I am. I do respect you. Is from is from the press's point of view of. How they are covering it does not always mean you are probably one of many that says it's a pit bull and it's not a pit. It's a mixed breed that has some so-called pit, maybe or maybe not, in it. 
So it's all about the prejudice. It's a misunderstanding. How come this dog in 50 years ago was the American hero? How come we build up things in America and then tear them down because it's, it's what, of convenience? No. This so what, what happened to them? Hero, uh-uh. It's always about there's too many. There's too many chihuahuas. There's too many pits. There's too many dogs in the shelter. How about all the people that, don't, that tie the dogs up, don't give them food, don't give them water. They leave them outside. I guarantee any of these dogs that you see that are attacking, they exercise them. No pun intended. So, so then they all... Anything to pay attention. I know what happens down in Florida. I do know what goes on down there. It breaks my heart. I, th- I think then the pit bull seems to be a dog that requires way too much uh, attention and activity in order for him to keep it as a domesticated pet. Perhaps it I didn't 50 it's years not ago. I think pit bull, dear sir. I think it's any animal. And I, I think, think it is. They should be licensed in order to have a pet. I think they should be licensed to have children today. Because they're not paying attention. Well, I agree with that. Do other things and pay attention to their own families. I agree with that. People dude. like you that are spreading the wrong word. Not only about no, the no, 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 now you're being a little, now, now you're being a little, now you're crossing the line a little bit. People tie up their dogs in Florida because I already know about it. You know who tells me about it? FedEx, UPS, all of those drivers. They Listen, tell me, I know what goes on in Florida. I don't. You don't know everything. You think you you don't know what happens in every s- single uh, household. And I think you're making a broad generalization about uh, people that own the pit bulls not taking care of them and that being the reason why they snap. I don't know why everybody's so quick to rush to the defense of the pit bull and nobody wants to acknowledge that the dog might be a little bit crazy. Exorcist, you there? She hang up on me? <laughs> I I think so. Yeah, I hope your head spun off, you moody bitch. Oh. I don't know. She might still be on the line. I don't know. She what, is yeah. going to be under your bed tonight. Ah, you know what? I, you know what? I'm not even scared of her anymore. Now yeah. I know she's just a retard. She's she, an exercise head, retard. Her head is in a spin, and she's going to vomit up pit bulls at you. Good. I'm going to... I'm. You know what? She is just taking the fear out of the movie because the devil is way smarter than that moron is. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Instead of worrying about pit bulls, you should worry about making another movie since 37 years ago. Yeah, half-assed. You know, it's not the, the dog. It's it, it's the people. It's a, In every case, it's the people. Yeah. What are you, are you? You realize what an idiot you sound like when you say that? Change my plan, John Brennan. I'm changing my plan. Find me an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Yes. In it, put Linda Blair. Yes. And then every pit bull, half pit, bring that little friggin' midget with the hat from the TV yep. show. Douse it with... Uh, 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 what do you do? Gasoline. Gasoline. Yeah. Throw all the copies of this stupid Exorcist movie. Look at this. That's what I think of your stupid movie. <laughs> Throw them all in there and then set it on fire. Yeah. Set her and the Exorcist on fire. And I want all their little doggy heads to be spinning around as it goes down. And they all look like throwing up pea soup. You don't get... <laughs> and don't... Tap your mic, yeah. tap your phone to me. Uh, what's with the attitude, in, like, immediately? Oh, immediately. Maybe debate it. But immediately. And how respectful attitude. was I? Yeah. I, right out of the gate, I want to be like, listen, exorcist, don't try to tell me nothing. But right away, I just let her talk, right. and then I wanted to get, and then she hung up. Good for you. Good. Yeah, you come out the winner in that. I'm sorry. You made the – I get th- their argument. I get that there's people out there that argue that. But if she didn't, like, start tapping her phone or going – all out like that, then she would have made herself sound a lot smarter, but she sounded dumb. Yeah, you know why I'm the winner in that? Because I've been working for the last 37 years, and she's been trying to pray yeah. to God that the exorcist keeps coming around every Halloween. She's like that kid from uh, that kid that got his uh, tongue stuck on the pole in a Christmas story. Yeah. He starts getting excited every Thanksgiving. He's finally yep. got a residual check coming. I hope a pit bull bites you on your private part, you whore.